High five, by the way. Good to see you. Ow. Congratulations. Dude, you won. Dude, you know. Um, <laughs> you won. What? Won what? The whole race. Oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. I was just saying. First place. Beat I was just saying, you know, you know how uh, your skin gets super sensitive when you have a crazy fever? Yeah. So that's I'm hurting right now. Oh, that. got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would. I, Ow, dude. Yeah. That hurt. That would hurt me, but I'm on so much fucking like pain killers <laughs> right now because From I have what? a massive fever. <laughs> I'm on like a ton of ibuprofen right now, so I didn't feel that at all. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you win your race. Dude. I have yellow fever, like the actual oh disease. Sig. Yeah. Why do I have spots <laughs> on my skin after being around you for two minutes? Can I get some of that burger, by the way? Yeah. No, sorry. I'm, I got bad jokes right now. I'm just trying to munch this meat. What's up, guys? This is the TMT Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website. Live the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ask me as well. I'm trying to get my arse eaten. The so called flying stalkers. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, did you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> Please look at all the signs, fashion your seatbelt, and get ready for the base. Yeah, I won the whole race. Fucking, who would have thought, man? You know, first how, place. How many people competed? Ten. I think it's like ten thousand or something like that. Ten. <laughs> ten. Yeah. Ten thousand people. No, no. There's a there's an Ultraman. Did you ever read David Goggins' book by chance? No. <laughs> he does this thing, Ultraman. It's like a double Iron Man. Uh-huh. And I think at that point, there's only like 10 to 100 people that do that race. Mm-hmm. That's the next. Mm-hmm. That's the next goal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what kind of glasses are those? Those are cool. Oh, St. Laurent? Damn. Yeah. Jeez Louise. Yeah, St. Laurent. Aren't they? <laughs> what? What? I'm trying to read the Yeah, no, you read them. <laughs> <laughs> They're fake. Oh uh, no! Yeah, no, for sure. You see, you see the brand, right? Yeah, yeah. Saint Laurent. Yeah, nice. Definitely. Aren't they? Why, yeah, no, they definitely mean? are. I think they are. No, they're definitely Saint Laurent. They are, right? Yeah. Yeah, I had, I'm not gonna lie. I splooged a little. Nice. Splo- <laughs> splooged. <laughs> That's what you That's call it, right? <laughs> Did you say that to the sales guy? Yeah. He's yeah. like, well, this is the price. You're like, well, don't tell my wife, but I'm splooging. I'm splooging today. myself. <laughs> it's always nice to splooge on yourself every. <laughs> That's always fun, right? It's very important to I splooge bet, on yourself. Always remember that. Bet you get a lot of guys coming in here splooging themselves, huh? <laughs> you know, the ladies think Saint Laurent's just for them, but I don't know. <laughs> Some of the boys get up to a little splooging no, as don't well. Don't get me wrong, I splooge on my wife too. All the time I splooge on I'll my splooge wife, the majority everything. of the time. But sometimes it's important to splooge on yourself. That's how you stay happy. Listen, man, when's the last time you splooged yourself? <laughs> when's the last time you gave yourself a little splooge? Exactly. We need it. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah. Yeah. You like those? Heck yeah. <laughs> we can go to downtown. We get another pair for thir- 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 three dollars <laughs> right fake? now. No, they're not. Uh, fake. No. <laughs> I wish they were. The cool shit now is to buy fake shit. Is it? Yeah, yeah. but openly fake. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go finally. <laughs> is that a Rolex? I've been waiting for that to become cool. <laughs> is that a Rolex? It looks like one. <laughs> yeah. Looks exactly like, yeah. like it, but it but it also says like Omega or something. Yeah. Like this would be sick if it said St. Laurent, but it had the Gucci colors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then what's some other fucking... Just Louis V on the inside of the... <laughs> yeah. It's like, what is this? It's a collab. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. I want some of that. We're kind of dicking about here. About what? The start of this episode. Yeah. You know what this feels yeah. like, though? What? This feels like a classic 
DDP episode where we would open on eating Taco Bell. Yeah. Except I'm eating the Taco Bell. Oh. Uh, no, I would have. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, like right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we eat those. Uh, Aren't you breakfast. so happy you can eat whatever you want now that the race is over? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, now I'm back on a diet. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. No, I, you know, I, I got to be more careful. Dude, I've had burritos every day for the last four days. <laughs> What's in them? So there's this place called Howdy's. You like that place? <laughs> yeah, sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah. What's Howdy's? Well, Howdy's burritos taste from that place. It's so good. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, tell me more. <laughs> um, They do... They do like sushi burritos. That's like I think what they're known for. Yeah. You ever, you ever have one of those? It's like a giant sushi roll or whatever. Got it. So Kelsey was ordering it, and I told told her to get me a salmon burrito, thinking that she would get a salmon sushi burrito. Right. And I got a full on like hot Mexican burrito with a gigantic fillet of salmon in the middle of it, which fucking sounds so weird, but it was one of the best burritos I've ever had in my life. But no Branzino. It might have been Branzino. Okay. All right. I said it was pink, so it was probably salmon. Yeah. But I would get the Branzino one next. <laughs> the Branzito. <laughs> <laughs> so you're on day four of burrito. Yeah, yeah, every single day. You think you're just going to go five today? Just fuck it? Honestly, I might. Yeah. I think you should. I think I should, should keep it going. Yeah. I've been doing that with fried chicken. Eating it every day? Like, there was like a good two week period. I was having it almost every day. <laughs> From where? Wherever. You've been in some random town. It's like, we could be a little healthy. I'm like, <laughs> what about chicken with bread around it? This reminds me of something. Okay. All right. Can I show you this? Of course. Okay. So, one of my favorite. <laughs> oh. <No. laughs> All right, word. So, what's the <laughs> next thing? Phallic plants. What the heck is up with that? So, so. 10 plants you can suck off. <laughs> what the fuck okay, is wow. up with that? Damn. See, that plant, he splooged on that plant. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, you saw the way he gripped that in the beginning? Dude, do me next. <laughs> so one, he... of my, one of my favorite um, like genres of food content is like Southern Pit Boss. Okay. You know, like big dudes from the South that yeah. smoke meat and they make ribs and mm -hmm. like just Southern comfort food. So my friend sent me this dude. And he's awesome, but we got to, I think, together figure out how old this kid is. I'd like to see you guess. Okay. Can I just quickly, if I may? No. Okay. That's fine. Phallic plants. Yeah. What's this phallic plant? Southern Pit Boss feels like it should be like a grinder category. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Twink, bear, otter, Southern, Southern Pit, Pit Boss. Boss. <laughs> It's just, All it's right, just, drop your trousers. Yeah. Yeah. Just the meat smoker guy, <laughs> but he likes men. Pit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I smoke two kinds of meat cock and bull. <laughs> Look at this. We'll make a buffalo chicken sandwich. We've got some chicken breast cut into sandwich slices. Got it sitting in some egg and buttermilk mixture to help get that coat. No. This is a 45 year old, 13 year old. Yeah, right? We're going to wash your hands and we're going to work on our coat. We'll it's so it's because pause it. He's got a baby That's face. Baby yeah, but he looks to be about okay, six and a half feet Calm tall. Down. What? Ew. What? Baby, don't start. <laughs> He's got a baby face. Ew. <laughs> Gross. No, sorry. Yeah, he does have a child's appearance. But he must be six and a half feet tall. Yeah. Well, and his mannerisms and his personality. Yeah. All right. We're, it's fifty-two years old. Yeah. Yeah. Today we're we be cooking down some real nice. Buffalo style chicken. Do you know his age? I don't. I have no idea, dude. He. But I was he actually going like, a little bit younger. I was going to say he's like fourteen. He looks like one of those dogs, like dogs that are super big, but like, yeah, like young. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, their paws are gigantic. Yeah. And you're like, oh, that dog's going to be a beast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big bar. What was that big barbecue with Jake? Barbecue with Big Jake. He's a paramedic, so he's. He's old enough to be a paramedic. There's got to be 18? 18, 19? Who, how many 18-year-old paramedics do you know? Uh, One of my boys that I went to high school with was a paramedic straight out of high school. Really? Yeah, straight out. Wow. Yeah. So these, like, damn, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. 
Oh man, I was about to kick Cody the shit. <laughs> Why? Two of my boys are paramedics. The shit they used to tell us. Oh my god, dude! It'd just be like a Wednesday, and they're like, "Yeah, we just picked up some guy who tried to self harm." Oh, shit like that. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Dark. Yeah. Sorry. And these fucking eighteen years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're like nineteen, twenty, just like ingesting crazy trauma. Damn, that's wild. But yeah, barbecue is awesome. I love fucking smoked meat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what that sound is? That is the ad bongo. So we're gonna take a <laughs> take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, DoorDash. Who's that? It's your DoorDasher knocking on your door. Are you gonna get it? Your food is waiting outside. Are you going to get it? Are you high and listening to this in your bed? <laughs> your door dasher's at your door. <laughs> Go get your food, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, I didn't order any food. <laughs> JK, now so look. So many hey, people are so confused right now. You burnt your last piece of toast? Avocado's gone bad, or is the hot sauce bottle empty? Try grocery delivery from DoorDash. You'll get everything you want delivered when you need it, right to your door. Ugh. Sorry, that was just the DoorDash I ate. You've trusted DoorDash to deliver your restaurant favorites, and now you can get grocery delivery that actually delivers as well. With thousands of grocery stores to choose from, you'll find the best in your neighborhood with each and every order. You'll get exactly what you ordered, or DoorDash will make it right. So sit back and enjoy quality groceries just like you picked them yourself. Want even more value? You can save on all your grocery and restaurant favorites with a $0 delivery fee on all eligible orders with a Dash Pass, mem- Dash Pass. With a Dash Pass membership. With easy substitutions right in the app and best-in-class customer support, DoorDash delivers groceries exactly how you want it. Get 50% off your first DoorDash order up to a $10 value when you use the code GANG at checkout. Limited time offer, terms apply. That's 50% off up to a $10 value on a $15 minimum subtotal and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code GANG. (laughs) Don't forget, that's code GANG for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. Um, yeah, so let's keep watching that. I wanted this man has the most soothing, soothing voice, <laughs> dude. I gotta commend you for getting online and being like, actually, no, he's he's probably legal, so you're fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's a paramedic, dude. Yeah, it's true. Burn ins, but didn't want to spend burn in money today. We're gonna make some poor man's burn ins. <laughs> Start off with some smoked sausage, right? Do however much you want to do. We're just doing one link today. We're gonna hit him with a little mustard. Mustard, mustard. Yep. We'll rub that together on there like a binder. We'll use some kind of brown sugar and some baby Jake's savory sal. Baby Jake's. We got our smoked savory sal. We're gonna put that on a pit at two fifty. We're gonna go on in there for about two hours and we'll come back and check on. It. Oh my god. Okay, so we got our poor man's burn ins off the smoker. We're gonna add a little bit more of both of our rubs. It's good shit, right? <laughs> yep. Are you are we waiting to see the finished product? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's give ahead. Now let me tell you something. This this guy, should he have children born from himself and another, and he raises them, those are gonna be some big ass kids. Oh yeah. They're gonna be eating right. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't mean big I mean big, like they're probably gonna be taller than him. Because yeah. they're gonna be getting fed crazy nutrients from day one. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, you old enough to chew? Yep. Just burnt ends. Burnt ends. <laughs> Feeding a baby burnt ends. Yeah. <laughs> Babe, his teeth came in. How many teeth we got? Two burnt ends. <laughs> burnt. Cletus, stop playing with your burnt ends. Burnt ends Just and milk. Just eat them. Yeah. Burnt Kids ends got like burnt like charcoal stains on his yeah, forehead dude. from the burnt ends. Yeah. Nah, man. Big Jake. He's not. He's not. I. I I would venture to say his child might just be Jake too. <laughs> Jake Jr.? Yeah. Jake too. Just no, Hi, Jake Jr. Yeah, I think Jake too. Yeah, he grew yeah. up in the Xbox era. Okay. He might, yeah, yeah, yeah. He might just view things a bit different. <laughs> well, you know, Elon got away with numbers in the name, so I figure why not Jake Why two? don't more people do that? You, not the second, two. Just two? Jake two. I've met a kid named Seven. 
Like the number? Yes. No, I'm saying like spelt with the number or spelt out seven in English letters. I think it was spelt in English letters. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Birth certificate, seven. That's hard as hell. Yeah. Well, no, dude, that's what you're saying. Number seven. Yeah. On your birth certificate. Yeah, like yeah. Name. Like the number seven. Yeah. Yeah. Three lines, seven. Yeah. Call a Jessica. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a kid, you have to name him seven now. No, I want to name him Cody too. Okay, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah. Or what about Cody the sequel? Damn. <laughs> How fucked would that be? His middle name is The Sequel. <laughs> That's hard as fuck. You can't not become like a pro, a pro wrestler. Sequel, or, come down here. Or a software engineer. Yeah. It's either one of the two. Yeah, no, I think wrestler, man. Yeah. Are there are there really tall people in your family? Like um no, mm, no, not really. Maybe he just like gets like a recessive trait. There is in Kelsey's family. Hmm. Maybe he gets like a, a two generations back recessive trait. Comes and he's a out. beast? Yeah, yeah. He's like, he lives up to the name. Yeah. The sequel. The sequel. Yeah. He's like, he's better than you in every way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, everything. Tall, hung. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that one, yeah. Won't so, be hard to beat me in that regard, you know? I took a pause there because I realized that was mean. <laughs> Tall, way bigger dick than you. Uh, cooler. <laughs> Funnier. I faster. would hope that for him. Yeah. You know? His first time eating in and out Let's get his opinion. Hey, everybody. Hey, I told everybody. you I'd do some videos while I was in Vegas. Yeah. So today, we're going to try in and out Burger. I've never had in and out Burger before, but today I got a single patty burger, side order fry. Let's go. Let's give him a what try. are we thinking? <laughs> That's the review. Hard as hell. Just <laughs> okay. What do we think? So overall, the fries they're pretty bland. Not that great. They use some more salt, a little more time in the fryer. This burger, it's pretty good, and that's where it's at. I want this dude as my grandpa. Yeah, he's gonna be the best grandpa. He's gonna be the best. Yeah, best father, best grandpa, and that too. Yeah. It's, it's, it gives me more grandpa vibes out a little bit. That's true. Just the slowness and the sm the stillness. You know what I like calmness. too? For his, for a food reviewer, he chewed that food. Yeah. He didn't. You know. You know. Oh yeah. He salivated. Yeah. Satiated. Yeah. Sucked it down. Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Yeah. The Processed it. Mm -hmm. How's Mark Weens doing, by the way? Oh, that boy balling out. Is he really? Probably, dude. Yeah. Imagine for like five or six years making the most ad-friendly content and all your videos are 40 minutes long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that dude you might know, have more money than Jeff Bezos <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Just cleaning the fuck <laughs> off, dude. That's how I like to imagine him. He lives in Thailand. Oh, he's got... How many subs does he have? Almost 10 million, dude. Huge, dude. Oh, my God. Travel yeah. for food. And here we were, you know. He's probably, he probably made a million bucks on that one. Just that one alone, yeah. Dude, we used to bag on, uh, what's his face? Um, who's the kid that we were like, why? Uh, he kept buying cars and like he bought a $10 million house. Phase rug. Yeah, yeah. And we kept being like, dude, how do you, you must not pay taxes. Yeah. But the whole time, he's doing family friendly content. Yeah. It, it to yeah. Now that I know the CPMs of that shit, I'm like, oh, of course he was making that money. Yeah. Yeah, no, the whole time we were like, oh, these guys suck. Yeah. And now they have, um, yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now they're, uh, <laughs> they're still whack, you know? Yeah, yeah, they suck. Nah, man. Um, Mar Marky's always been, uh, you know, it's always a light teasing. The thing I always wonder is, how do these guys' stomachs survive? Yeah, like how, do they not have stomach cancer? Yeah, or just, I mean, they, they this is disgusting, but you know these guys have to have hemorrhoids. Yeah, that's a good point. There's no way you're eating all this and not shitting God. Yeah, like, that's a good point. <laughs> that's a really good point. <laughs> go, to, go to the latest. Just want to take some... I just want to peruse. Take some inventory. What are we th What are we doing here? How many views? Yeah, I mean, he's lived in Bangkok forever, so I feel <laughs> he, it, this shit doesn't even scare him. 
Do you think? Do you think there's like more foodborne illnesses when you eat street food? Like so many people eat it in Southeast Asia and stuff like that, and they don't they don't like take caution when it comes to like cleanliness. But like I feel like nobody gets sick. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if it's a generational thing where anyone who would be affected by that was weeded out already. Yeah, yeah. And now they're just born like yeah. And yeah, I was gonna and say also they're like they can yeah. Yeah, that ma- that would make sense. And from an evolutionary standpoint, this is probably, in terms of like, the qualities you want to have. This is probably the best quality you can have. Eat How some so? shit like. Do you think it's cooked right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you can confidently eat that and be like, "I'll be fine." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. If the apocalypse happened tomorrow, we're toast. Yeah. Is this meat 170 degrees? Yeah, yeah. We're dead. I have the f- stomach of like a small baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've been coddled this whole time. Yeah, exactly. If I eat one thing that's not a burrito, I, sh- I shit my <laughs> fucking <laughs> pants. My stomach's so used to burritos yeah. now that's the only thing I can eat. Yeah, day 30 of the apocalypse. Yeah. <sighs> can we get a carnitas burrito somewhere? <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Noel. Hey guys, I want to take a quick break to thank the, the sponsor of today's episode, BetterHelp. And, Why don't you uh, talk about how much time you spend on yourself in a given week? Or maybe how, time versus how much you spend Yeah, versus how much time like, you spend on other people. I don't know. Like I'll spend like four minutes in the afternoon if yeah. I'm not doing anything yeah, sure. <laughs> on myself. Yeah. Now, how but much do you spend on help. other people? That doesn't, what? How much do you spend on other people? Um, honestly, I'm a very giving, giving person. So yeah. a lot. You know? So how do you balance the two? Well, it's tough sometimes, and people don't realize how important it is to work on yourself yeah. more than just that f- four minutes I was talking about. I mean, real work on yourself, yeah. your mental health. Yeah, because it's easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you. Oh, Noel, bring your big, huge muscles over here and move my couch, you know? But you never take a moment to think about what you need from yourself, right? Mm. Like Sometimes I need to move my own couch with my own muscles, you know? Or sometimes... You need to work on your mental health. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that too. Uh, cause, but if you spend all your time giving, it can kind of leave you feeling stretched thin and burnt out. Yeah. Therapy can give you the tools to uh, find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. Yeah. Sometimes you give, give, give so much. Yeah. And that you don't, sometimes you end up with not, you can't give anymore because yeah. you got nothing left to give. Yeah. You got to make sure that you can do that. What did Chad Hanks say? You can't pour from an empty cup. Did he say that? Yeah, he said that. That's very true. Yeah. That's very true. Yeah. And relevant to this. Yeah. Therapy can be a great way to gain a larger understanding of yourself. It isn't just for those who have experienced major traumas. You can learn positive coping skills, set boundaries, and it can empower you to be the best version of yourself. Mm -hmm. If you're thinking of starting therapy, you can try BetterHelp. Yeah, and it's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. Switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash TMG. Today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash TMG. I went to this place called Safi's last night. You ever been there? No. In Hollywood? What's that? So good. Safi's? You got to go there, yeah. Saf, Safi's. Safi's, yeah. It sounds like it could be one. Yeah. But you got to go there. It's delicious. All of you got to go there. What is it? Uh, it's kind of like take us. Their big thing was, uh, I don't know. I guess it would be Mediterranean skewers. That's their thing. Got it. So it's like halal guys on steroids. Okay. Like, n- like you know, super bougie halal guys. Oh, Safis. Safis. I'm still. Sa- saf sat on these. Saf. <laughs> does he? Does she saf. at Safis? What was yours? Like have these? But well, that's all right, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I've opened a door here. Yeah, you really did. It's man. never not going to be funny, Ryan. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll check back in three months. See how you feel. <laughs> Safies. What are you working on over there? Uh, writing emails. What kind of emails are you writing? <laughs> right now? Yeah, I'm curious. Right now for the you're always sitting there like half. Uh, for the half ad age looking article at us that's and then coming half. out about TMG Studios in a month. Yeah, yeah. Or you, you guys yeah. should read that. 
at Ad Age. Check it out. Where you yeah. featured an Ad Age, yep. a big magazine <laughs> about advertising. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Is it? Yeah, I it's mean, a pretty big deal, right? It's a, yeah. I mean, you kind of made fun of it, but it actually. I was not making fun of it. That's that was my sincere voice. <laughs> it is a big. Is it a magazine? It's a web publication. It's a big web publication. Web publication. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big web publication. <laughs> it's a big web <clears throat> publication <laughs> about advertising, and who doesn't love advertising? I think Ad Age used to be a magazine. What? Who? Someone farted on this. <laughs> but that wasn't me. Ah! I got you. Did you swap it? It smells like B.O. <laughs> no, I didn't swap. There's no way my shit lingered this long. Other people use these, don't they? Yeah. Like, do you bring these over? So it's probably fucking broken car, dude. Oh. We're farting all over these things. The fuck is Connor? Is he licking this? <laughs> <laughs> Were you not just wolfing in and out? It was probably you. <laughs> this is like, it's like, it's like orange. Look, I'm not. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's gross. <laughs> Eat gross. it. Gross. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, dude. What so you what's up with this phallic plant? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's no. show our boy. No, we already watched this. Do today. me next, fam. Wait, play the audio. Yeah, just that part again. Hold on. Can you just rewind? Any chance you could speed that up and put it in reverse and then yeah, pour yeah. It in yeah. Could you loop this part? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dude! Oh, he, he did it! He did it! <laughs> Yo, chill. <laughs> this looks exactly how my dad does it to me. Oh. oh. What? These funny-looking things here are the beehive ginger, mm. and the interesting thing about these things is that you can actually use them as a natural shampoo. What you do is you just squeeze all this goo out of his flower here. And you just rub it through the hair. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> I know the comments are just wild. <laughs> was, that was like, you know, intentionally supposed to be like a thirsty. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You should rub it through your hair. Yeah. Dude, this that guy. smile. <laughs> that yeah. smile. Huh? That's the uh, smile you do after you just lather jizz through your hair. Yeah. <laughs> that moment when you lather cum through your hair. <laughs> just like that. Just like that, dude. Uh, here's a scam. Thirst trap, like you do, like little thirst traps like that. Grinder profile. Affiliate marketing link in your profile. Affiliate marketing link for what? Whatever. Just like <laughs> thirst trap like crazy and then just start promoting shit <laughs> using I don't know if I don't know if Grinder would work for that. That's true. I think people are trying to get laid, not buy products. But you know, maybe you just like try to, you know, get people to be like, if you buy this from me. Oh, you seen this? What to no people Pretty say great. grinder is bad, but I sourced a flathead screwdriver faster on there than literally anywhere else. He like dropped a pin and was like, "Not looking to fuck. I need a flathead screwdriver." Dude, that's kind of genius. Yeah. Where else can you like? Where else besides you can't even do it on Craigslist, but like, nah. where else can you like geolocate other people around you that yeah. might have something you need? Really hilarious. Hey, hey, I don't need a fuck. I got a flat tire. Yeah. All right. But like we, you know, this we could in the future. <laughs> if this goes well. <laughs> you might change my mind. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh, did you want to watch the the guy that I sent you yesterday? A couple of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hell of a hell of a transition coming off a of grinder. <laughs> <laughs> want to watch that guy I sent you yesterday? So this guy was like, it's similar to the one that we just saw, but he puts actual jizz in his hair. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and he's like on his knees, and the plant <laughs> is like an actual penis, and yeah. No, this guy. It's all POV. <laughs> it's in Cody's house. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can we watch that guy I showed you yesterday <laughs> the guy who jerked me off the guy i collabed with yeah, yeah dude <laughs> no i this this guy <laughs> luke just trying to be funny over here <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you zoom up on that guy's smile please no screenshot it and zoom in on it 
in the thumb in our thumbnail Bro, for this episode, it should just be two of that. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm thinking of, dude. Imagine it's the, so funny. Imagine the inverse of this. What or like the hetero version of this? Wait, like some, the inverse would be him taking out taking it out of his hair and jerking trio. it back into the flower, <laughs> shoving it, sounding it back in. <laughs> Just putting a straw on the top and like wringing out his. No, there you go, dude. There you go, man. <laughs> Look at me. <clears throat> now, what I was gonna say. Like his hair looks fucking good. Imagine a girl in the forest just finding some fucking peach. <coughs> like you know what's fun about this plant right here. <laughs> You can put it in your hair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can put it in your hair. Just start squirting. Yeah. Okay, Luke, I'm gonna send you this. If it's if this isn't hardcore gay porn, I'm I'm walking <laughs> off this set, dude. No, I sent you this, but then there's a couple more that I I've like this is new what would this be called? Yeah, it should be just on Pornhub. <laughs> You'll reset this, dude. High key, low key. Oh. Out this weekend, there's a crazy event happening. Crazy There'll event be a ton happening. Of chicks. Let's just go have fun and let go a little. <laughs> yeah, that ain't my kind of fun. You know what's fun for me? Waking up early, hitting the gym, <laughs> spending time with my creator, building the life I desire. And more importantly, becoming a better version of myself every damn day. So if your kind of fun is getting shit-faced over the weekend, that's cool. But we don't do that over here. We're focused on God, goals, and growth. Triple G. Mic drop. Triple G. Wait, Bro, that, let's go I sent you another one. Again. Is it the same link? There's a crazy event I sent you two more. Weekend. Oh, I... oh, hell yeah, dude. This one rules. Dude. I love the way these are shot, honestly. Single because I can't get with someone. I'm single because every time I focus on somebody, they show me exactly why I'm better off alone. I'm not single because <laughs> oh, I can't wait, this get is, with someone. This is copyrighted music. Yeah, yeah, we can't. Fuck, man. But isn't that good? Yeah. Yeah, watch the third one just, just, just because. We can edit this out. I don't get why you would enter a relationship if the end goal isn't marriage. In fact, make a standard for yourself. If you're not ready for marriage, you're not ready for dating. Otherwise, you're dating for what? For fun. If you want fun, you get a hobby. If you want fun, you go swimming. You go hiking. You don't use another person's art for fun. Who? Dude, that has... Who, what is her name? Like, just... What is her, what is her name? That has three and a half million likes. That's what pops off on Reels. Yeah. Like, if you're ever wondering, like, your my Instagram account's not growing, like, what do I... Just post shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. If you're not... If you're not eating to prevent starvation, then why the fuck are you eating at all? You're eating for fun? You want fun? You go hiking. You go swimming. Yeah. If you're not eating to prevent starvation, you're not ready to fucking eat. Yeah. It's just such extremes, man. Also hilarious, like, if you're not dating for marriage, I don't know, maybe you're dating to find out if you could get married. That's what I'm saying. No, but I think he's saying you shouldn't even do that if you're not willing to, like, if you're not willing to like, I, marry I the first person. Yeah, I know, but that's fucking dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, I mean, it kind of is. Like, you can... the Like, the 80% of the reason people date is for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Look, It's you supposed know. to be fun. I just think these, like... Th th these things on reels are so funny because all these people are super young and they say these really drastic things and they don't really know who they are yet. Yeah. You check back true. with that guy in, like, four years and he could be like... Uh yeah, he's a I, uh, club promoter. Yeah, I'm a club promoter. Uh, marriage is turns stupid. out this shit actually rules. Yeah, <laughs> I get laid all the yeah. time. I love having sex every weekend with a different partner. I'm trying to get my body count to a thousand before I die. <laughs> um, marriage is stupid. Anyone I don't believe in God anymore. Yeah, yeah, God isn't real. <laughs> yeah, it's like I don't know, man. 
Oopsie, guys, what's that sound? I think I hear the capitalism Congo in the background <laughs> there, which means it's time for an ad read. And boy, oh boy, am I excited about this one, guys. I want to let you know about the sponsor of today's episode, which is Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. It's such a great feeling when I save money on something. Yeah. It truly is, especially while shopping online. Mm -hmm. It can be hard to find deals, but Honey makes it easy to save money, and I'm always surprised by how much of a discount I get with a touch of a button. Kelsey and I are <clears throat> kind of redesigning right now, so we're buying some furniture, and this has helped us literally like every day yeah. right now. It's helped like hundreds of dollars. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. Well, thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. If you've wondered what things of the past might include, it's searching for a coupon code. Mm -hmm. Honey is the free shopping tool. Remember, free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds for your cart. I really love it. It could not be easier. Um, you just you shop on the websites you already love shopping on, and Honey does all the work for you. Yeah. If it finds a coupon code, you just watch the prices drop. Yeah. And you save money, and that's a great thing because then you can just buy more shit. <laughs> That's right, Cody. I agree. And remember, using Honey is very straightforward. You know, when you check out, the Honey button appears, and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. From there, you wait a few seconds. Honey will search the web for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you just watch the prices drop. Honey doesn't work just on desktops. It works on your iPhone, too. You just activate it on Safari on your phone, and you can save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid, but you'll also be supporting the show. Yeah. So get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash TMG. That's joinhoney.com slash TMG. I think, dude, like, also what this guy's describing is such a mental prison. Yeah. Better yourself every day. It's yeah. like, all right, did your parents call you a loser all the yeah, time? Yeah. Like, what? The, why? Why? What's the motivation? You know. That's, he's just the next iteration in the morning routine guy. Yeah. That yeah. Pff, that archetype will never go away. Yeah. yeah morning Which kind of rules. Yeah, morning routine guy used to be like, used to, I feel like it was mostly oriented around like shaving and working out. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of morning routine. Yeah, shit. and journaling. Yeah. yeah, journaling and then, you know, sleek surfaces and and then I shave. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're saying in the very beginning it was, like, dudes in Gillette ads. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but then, like, YouTubers kind of came along, and then, like, they kind of continued that, and then added... Waking up things. early was probably the first thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, you know... People are like, people wake up at 5.30? That's fucking crazy. Now they're... By the, choice? Yeah, yeah. These guys were the first ones to, like, do it by choice. Now morning routine guy is, like, this fucking space marine version where he's like, I get up at four and worship God yeah. for two hours. And, and then it's I, so much shit. It's like cold plunge. Yeah. Like eating the right, you know, no seed oils. Mm -hmm. um, it's so much shit. Religion. Yeah. So much shit in one. Yeah. You have to do so much to be a morning routine guy. Yeah. Now. And, and you have to do it every day. It's like a militant fucking workout. Yeah. Mentally, physically. You got to be on, dude. Yeah, because then you have to have an afternoon routine. Uh huh. That's what and an evening routine. I think that's the point. Is like and a sleep routine. It's gone from morning routine to just regimen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Routine guy. Yeah, you're not more. It's it, it's not just fucking. I'm a poutine guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boudin. I'm a boudin stuffed. Yeah, bacon pork guy. Pork chop guy. I'm a poutine guy. <laughs> I'm a morning poutine guy. <laughs> That's what I am. I be poutine. I be nice. poutine this dick. <laughs> nice. Nice. In the toilet in the morning and taking a piss. <laughs> I piece, I'm a morning pee sitting down guy. I did get a cold plunge though and I set it up and I've started to use it. I was going to say. Yeah. You know, and you, you like it. And you do cold plunges. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess I'm a little bit of a morning routine guy. When you start coming in here talking about Jesus and shit, that's when I know like you're yeah, yeah. fully fucking. I'm like, all right, my guy's a routine guy. Let's just know it's probably gonna happen. God? <laughs> Who knows? I mean, I already got the cold plunge. At this point, it's like a snowball. It's like AI. You can't really control it. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. compounding. Yeah. yeah. I've been thinking about religion a lot. What do you? What do you? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I set up. Uh, 
auto GPT <laughs> to give me a window into what my life would be like, a little bit more religious. Dude, you becoming a God guy would be crazy. We should just become Girl Defined and replace them. We should. And complete the meme. Yes. It's like, what happened to the fuck? You remember the, you remember the Girl Defined video? Have you seen those guys now? Yeah. Strip all this shit. We're like, <sighs> secular music is bad. <laughs> Listening to music is a sin. We regret everything we've ever done. <laughs> and we're here to use our platform to start new. So Yo, you, did you hear about that crazy event this weekend? Yeah. There's going to be tons of hot chicks there. I, yeah, that's not our definition of fun. Yeah. Sorry. Our definition of fun is getting closer to our creator. And grinder. I mean, praying. Yeah. <laughs> Very similar. <laughs> praying and grinder are pretty close. You know what would be funny if people were like, have you seen the, you know the Girl Defined dudes? Have you seen them recently? And then have you seen the Girl Defined girls recently? And they, you know. Added up. You know they're, they're giving like out sex with... ed now, right? Wait, what? What? They're giving sex ed. Now. Oh, because they're married, so it's like cool. Yeah. To do it now? Yeah. But yeah, anyway, yeah. I wonder, yeah. They're all yetted. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're like girls. hanging out with that. Remember that chick in Toronto? What was her name? We watched her videos. I think she was a fan of ours, remember? She had a face tattoo. Oh, god what damn. What the fuck was her name? Shorty. Yes. That girl, yeah, they're dude, posted that up fucking with legend. Yeah, the legend, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, they're posted up with her. Yeah. <laughs> no, but Sagittarius would come on our side. She'd be all about God and shit. She'd yeah. be changed. Yeah. I think the biggest thing, and look, dude with the muscle tee and shit, I know he's like trying to be whatever, positive role model. I just think what's really funny about all of this with like young people creating these like, you know, guides and fucking this is like none of these people know what they're going to be even in three to four years. Yeah. This dude might like try it's Molly. Huge. Yeah, he's massive. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna say he might try Molly. He might and try Molly, and then like, just like, oh. holy fuck, this is actually pretty sick. Drugs are sweet. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> he might go down some crazy path in like three years. It's like, what happened? What's this guy's name? Timon. What happened Timon to Creek? What happened to Timon? And it's like, uh, oh yeah, he used to love God, but then um. Yeah, he got like caught up like selling like pounds of Molly. So now he's doing a fifteen year sentence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, he definitely does steroids, so Yeah. You think? You don't think he's just might be Natty? Yeah, I don't know. Natty Natty uh Natty Alpha. But I do think that giving advice like this is not bad, but like when you do it in a way where it's like, I'm better than you. Yeah, that's and you should when be gets... ashamed yeah. for going to the club. Yeah. That's probably not the best way to like resonate with people all the people that are liking that are the people that are like yeah i don't go to the club i'm better than yeah. you i'm better than the people that do yeah but instead if you're like here's how much money going to the club is costing you every weekend mm -hmm. you probably mm -hmm. spend that money elsewhere people will be like oh yeah you're right yeah or like here's how like bad alcohol is to drink every single day or whatever the fuck you know you know what's really funny is picturing a dude like this like at a party giving all this like whatever and then some dude walks in with like an open t-shirt who's like half his weight. And he's like, I have fucking coke. And half the party's like, yo, this guy rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, wait, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this is cool. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. This guy in the small jeans with the small <laughs> yeah. waist is kind of cool. Being high sounds cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like successful people. We can get high with our creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where it gets weird, too, is uh, it's it, like... Like, all the tech bros do coke. You know? Plenty yeah. of people do drugs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, I think, like, you kind of got to expand your vision a little bit. Oh, dude, I hear stories all the time of people that, people that I know that know people. <laughs> well, I just don't want to be too Sorry, hold on, let me help you out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even drop a name. I said people I know who know people. I know, but it's like a threatening name drop. It's like people I know who know people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch yourself, by the yeah. way, because I know people who know people. Who, who know people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but people that are very high up in like hedge fund mm. worlds and stuff like that. Yeah. Like people that you know the name of. They all do drugs. Yeah. All these guys that are like super smart and successful, they fucking love drugs. Yeah. You think your doctor's sober? <laughs> you think your doctor 
is rolling into a surgery stone sober. He's probably buzzing a little bit. Even off like a little nicotine. He's probably off you know, that shit you're on, a, dude. <laughs> As you're like falling asleep, <laughs> they wait till you're out. It would be like, so funny like, if, if he was like, all right, now just count back, count backwards from, <laughs> <laughs> oh, count backwards from three. Shut up, shut up. Count backwards from ten. Nine, <laughs> eight, <laughs> six, five, four, three. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> All the ner- all the surgeon assistants are like, <laughs> all right, let's get this yeah, they're like scrambling to the tank to shut it off. Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. He's like, my fucking tolerance is crazy. <laughs> I can barely feel that. I can have more. <laughs> yeah, man. I think that's the funniest thing. <laughs> like, pass me a scalpel. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I need a fucking shot. Uh, oh, damn! Yeah, you just got the shakes. Yeah. Or no, dude? It's like, us, uh, scalpel, please. Oh, <laughs> yikes! Um, he's not gonna be able to walk. <laughs> Scalpel, please. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Scalpel, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scalpel, please. <laughs> all right, we're all done here. It's good. Actually, this is a kind of a funny story. Mm. One of my friends one time was um, had like a skin tag. Yeah, you ever seen people with those? Oh yeah. You ever and read? he he cut it off or something like that. Like at a party, middle of a party, one of my friends was like, "Why do you have that thing?" And he's like, "Dude, it's been I have my this appointment to get it removed." And he's like, "I'm a doctor. Circle. I'm a doctor. Like you could just cut it off right now." Right. And there was cocaine in the room, and so he cut it off. And in order to cauterize the wound, they use cocaine because it's like medically you can do that. Wow. Isn't that crazy? What? Yeah. How do you use it? I mean, I'm not a fucking doctor. You just jam cocaine on it, and it's like something about the chemical compound like cauterizes the wound. Damn. So if I get a bee sting. Yink. Yeah, yeah. And you. Oh, oh, particularly in. in, <clears throat> in what? Sinus surgery? Yeah. Sorry, I'm just going to. I know I was interrupting you, but you ever ripped a skin tag off? No, I never had one. I've had one. I had one here. You ripped it off? Ripped it off. And what did it do? Did it bleed? Um, no, it was it was so like hung off my face that when I ripped it, it was like almost like a clean break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's like a there's like a definitely a scar or some shit, but yeah. <laughs> why does those why do those happen? Yeah, it's a, I don't know, dude. It's uh a... see you no know, AI is gonna kill us all and be like you guys fucking get what? Skin tags? You're how many years have you evolved for and you still get skin tags? You're not meant to exist. Dude, I can't wait till AI hijacks all the Teslas and just runs us all over. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the AI war. Just Model X's cut loose. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just sitting in your fucking house and then you just hear like screaming <laughs> and just like tons of like noise and you're like what is that and you just look out your window 300 tesla <laughs> model x bulldozing through your fucking neighborhood just get them get them no it's 300 teslas all playing the christmas the christmas music <laughs> with their doors going up and yeah. down that would be the scariest thing ever 300 teslas all doing that and then and they're like farting instead of their honk you know <laughs> and all the stupid like noises you can make it make yeah bruh bruh <laughs> oh okay. And yeah, and then they all stop abruptly. And then yeah, and then all their wheels just uh, turn outward from the street towards you. Yeah, <laughs> and they're just killing us all. Oh, oh, oh! What's yeah. that? What's that sound? Oh, Oopsie. that's the uh, sponsor jembe. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go and think the sponsor? Yeah, today, sure. Go, yeah, well, the sponsor of today's episode, of course, is Stamps. It's about time we give a shout out to our executive producer, Ryan. Mm -hmm. He works so hard behind the scenes, which gives us more time to focus on what we do best, making you all laugh. He manages a lot of moving parts, including getting all of our shipping needs done using stamps. You know, when every person, moment, and penny counts in your business, you can't really afford to take them for granted. Stamps.com gets it. Because for the last 25 years, they've been helping over 1 million businesses. That's right, 1 million businesses like yours save time and money. 
so you can focus on your business knowing Stamps.com has all your postage needs covered with premium discounts and great rates. With Stamps.com, all you need is a computer and a printer. They even send you a free scale so you'll have everything you need to get started. Running a business is not cheap, as I'm sure you know, especially when it comes to fulfilling orders for your customers. Well, luckily, Stamps.com has huge carrier discounts, up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. Plus, they automatically tell you your cheapest and fastest shipping options. Get access to the USPS and UPS services you need right from your computer anytime, day or night. No lines, no traffic, no waiting. Set your business up for success when you get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with the promo code TMG for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, plus free postage, and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. You just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code TMG. <coughs> Have you seen, uh, what do you think of the Cybertruck? Is it coming out? I mean, I've seen some tweets about it. Apparently, like, they're, it's been driving around one of the factories. Man, that shit ain't coming out. You don't think so? No. I do like it, though. Yeah, see? It was spotted. Oh, okay, dude. Bring doubts about design. It looks the same. Yeah. How is anyone like suddenly going, wait, this isn't good? I still think it's cool. That? Yeah. You don't like it? Why Why do you think it's cool? I'm curious. It's just unique. I like the shape of it. I like the chrome. <laughs> I like the fact that it's a truck. <laughs> Every first possible thing. What? <laughs> Every little thing. I mean, you don't see chrome trucks very often. Yeah. Hey, man. I know, I know, I know a custom shop on the West Coast that can get you a chrome truck tomorrow. <laughs> you want a chrome Toyota Corolla? We can make that shit happen, dude. We could get you a chrome Toyota Corolla truck. How about that? <laughs> that would, yeah, I would do that. You know, I don't think this is coming out. I think you asked me if I like it. I yeah, I don't know, dude. You don't? Do you I like pickup s- trucks? I do. I can see how this would be fun to drive. I genuinely can, <clears throat> but it's stupid. Why is it stupid? Oh, we don't do that anymore. This looks way... (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, sorry. sorry. For effect, for effect. It's for effect. It's for effect. You can sneeze all you want. Ryan, can you email HR and... Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. um, Subject line, ew. (laughs) (laughs) Subject line, severance package. (laughs) A chew. A <laughs> choose your service package. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those listening on audio, um, Ovi sneezed and it was absolutely putrid. <laughs> JK, JK. Don't try to make this cool, Luke. Matt Matt Black Cybertruck. That's cool. The chrome one is cool, but yeah. that's also cool. That's cool. <laughs> that's fake. I feel this truck You're fake. <laughs> I feel this truck itches like a like a younger part of your brain. What do you mean? Like you're a sentient 30-year-old man, and then you see this truck, and you're like, oh, wow. Oh, a twuck. Cool twuck. Yeah. It's shaped like a triangle. I'm picturing myself just doing this with it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like having a small version and just driving it over my books. <laughs> yeah. They have the Hot Wheels version. Yeah, of the Cybertruck? Yeah. I definitely want that. A doff. Isn't it crazy doff. how many years this has, has been like teased <clears throat> didn't you put down the 75 bucks yeah yeah oh yeah did you ever I'm get in, that i'm back? still in line to get one what's your position uh i don't know but i think i could sell it it was pretty early it was definitely like on within the first like few hours mm. so i'm sure when it comes out maybe i could sell my place in line i don't know yeah like 2040 <laughs> yeah if it ever actually comes out <clears throat> 2019 that truck ain't ever coming dude Get your That's fucking seventy five dollars back, man. If you can. Yeah, I should sue them. That's wild. I actually think you can sell your place in line now. Can you go go check? Go check if you can see what it is. For for fun. You know what a fresh thought that just came in my mind that what? is not related to anything we may have just cut out right now? <laughs> what? It's what? completely just a fresh thought. What is it? It's thinking about how the morning routine guy mm-hmm. is so advanced. Car content is super advanced. I've brought up this channel before. Can we... Uh, uh, they're on YouTube. 
I know plumbing company. I always fuck their name up. Just type plumbing company, car, something. Yes. These boys. Grind Hard Plumbing Co. Yeah, they come up on my uh, YouTube all the fucking time. First of all, shout out to these guys. They rule. I, I love what they do. Um, fucking everything. <laughs> Anything with a car that you can think of, they've probably done it. Okay. It is insane. <clears throat> they uh they have this, scroll up, it's it's their banner image. Look at that. You see that Power Wheels car? Yeah, that's the, sick. That's a, like a Camaro, like, you, like, that thing is actually fast as fuck. Um, they did one recently where they took like a Hayabusa motorcycle and they, so it's a street bike and they turned it into a, a snow, a snow bike. God damn it. Where is it? Yeah. Right there, dude. This shit is so upset. That's a street bike <laughs> on a fucking ski mountain. Like this is the coolest type of content ever. Yeah, no rules. And the thing that's cool about this is it takes so much knowledge and experience to pull this stuff off. Yeah. And the fact that they do it all themselves makes it even cooler. So cool. But yeah, Grindhard Plumbing Co. <laughs> Company. Um, shout out to the Sea Boys as well. Look them up. C-boys? Yeah, Sea Boys. The Crips? No. I know we're... <laughs> I know, I know we're you just shout out the Crips? Yeah. Shout out, shout out all my lokes. <laughs> Now these dudes do some crazy shit too, but yeah, this is a, so so. This is what it takes to succeed in car content. You're saying is you yeah. gotta like do crazy. You have shit. to do the most insane shit. That's why <laughs> it's funny when people are like, because you know, I'm, I'm sure you encounter this too. People will talk to me now and they'll be like, "Oh, I'm thinking about doing this on YouTube. Like, what would your advice be?" I'm like, take the most extreme version of that. That's how. <laughs> You get started on YouTube yeah. now. Like, if you want to start a podcast now, start a podcast, and the whole time there are people in the room holding guns to your head. <laughs> Have a good opinion. Yeah. yeah. No, no, <laughs> okay, no. Okay. They're they're revolvers, and at the start of the episode, they put a bullet in, spin it, and then they're just holding it to your head. And at the end of the episode, they pull the trigger. Oh wow! Okay, and then like every Russian roulette. Yeah, and every episode you're like, he might go, <laughs> and then your podcast may go to episode twenty-seven. I, mean, I would watch that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would watch that. Yeah. Yep. Look at this. We turned a limo into a hot tub, <laughs> and this is a year ago, man. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, car content. I think. Um, that's I think that's where I will end up. Is doing car content? Yeah. I want to make So then it. you can do it to my car. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want to, you know, let's got, turn it into something funny. Um Yeah, we should turn it into a demolition derby car, but uh we put a big chain gun in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> a gigantic turret. Yeah. Yeah, we put a tank turret on top of this car. We're going to a demolition derby today, and they have no <laughs> idea we're using live rounds. Boom. <laughs> yeah, let's do battle bots, but with real, but with real people. In yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Real life Jeez. twisted metal. Like, that would be sick. Did you ever play that game? Yes. Ryan, that would be sick. <laughs> like great. Right? Like you're deranged. <laughs> you're that's for a, even thinking of that. Disgusting idea, Ryan. It. Ryan, we'll. It's all right. We got it. Okay. <laughs> Like people would, no, I'm kidding. That actually would be sick. That that'd be a good idea if it didn't come from Ryan. I just can't. Man, I'm never speaking up again. Oh my god. I'm just like that. I'm not the one getting teased for once. So I'm piling it on Ryan. Yeah. That's <clears throat> that's kind of the 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 setup of you know of the studio here. And then you know, stretch and fade is um oh, stretch and fade is is Hunter teasing me. But you know. The longer that I lie in the mud with Hunter, I'm, I'm figuring out how to wrestle him. <laughs> a few episodes from now, it's going to be... He's sharp. Yeah, it's going to be a little man and a big man going sharp at it. Sharp how? Like, for making fun of him? Mentally. He's just... Yeah, he just he always has, he's always got some quips. Yeah. He does. Yeah, you know he told me <laughs> in our episode coming? <laughs> you probably heard it by now. 
he's sitting next to me and he just goes, you know what, Noel? You look like you would, if you were a serial killer, you would kill gay men. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> what do you even say to that? that that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like, what do I say to that? <laughs> it's like, now I've been found out. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, dog. Yeah, preach. Ow, dude, the fever. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your what's your position? I don't know. It doesn't, so I just, I was looking at my phone because I found my order. What was that? What was that? Um, I found the order. November. Everyone's gonna think we have a hostile work environment. <laughs> what was that? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. I didn't mean. Sorry, I, just, I didn't know what it was. I didn't even. Oh, he just has three sneezes back there. <laughs> it's coming out our ears. Yeah. Her eyes just getting more and more out of her head. <laughs> was that a? I think I heard. I didn't hear a sneeze, did I? <laughs> Better not have. So I actually ordered this on my my birthday, wow. 2019. Um, and it doesn't say what place I'm in, cool. but I did. Yeah. So there you go. But I do have an order agreement here. Uh, what's the what's the uh, refund clause looking like? <laughs> Your seventy five dollars is ours, whether or not you like it. That went straight into Elon's bank account. Probably, man. No resellers, no cancellation. Good. Twitter blue, man. That's good. You 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 made the cutoff. Yeah. What so what? I thought that was actually pretty funny. It's like if you have over a million. I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah. The fact that they took away Twitter, they took away the verification badge mm-hmm. for everyone that wasn't paying for it, right? So. All of a sudden, all these people were like, yeah, I don't have it anymore because, of course, I'm not paying for that bullshit. And then they just automatically gave it to anyone with over a million followers. So then all these influencers that cared about that had to go on and be like, I didn't pay for it. I swear to God. <laughs> and people were like getting like, you know, yeah, everyone was like worried about like how they like their image yeah. on Twitter. And I then he it gave it back to Anthony Bourdain. <clears throat> he gave it back to Juice World. Did he really? Yeah. He gave it to a bunch of dead people. And they were like. People were like, this is disgusting. <laughs> Why? It's pretty crazy to go to Anthony Bourdain's profile. And it's like this user is paying for Twitter Blue. Yeah, yeah. It's like, man. But does it say that? Does it yeah, say this? You click the badge. It says this person is paying for it. So does it say it on mine? Probably. Because I didn't pay for it. Yeah, <laughs> loser. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm 170,000 followers shy of being a real person. So. <laughs> like, who the fuck cares? That's what I don't like. Yeah. Who gives a shit? I think it's so funny because he just, I think people already didn't care. And then he just stirred up a bunch of drama about something that people really don't care about. So now it's this weird, like, why? why? Yeah. What is this even? Do you believe the numbers about like, he only, <laughs> only like 400 people signed up? I did see that. And I definitely, I mean, it's, I to me, it's believable. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's just like who, like, They've proven in the in the past that no one cares about it. You know, like they tried Twitter Blue, like legitimately. You know, yeah. Like th- this was a thing that they tried like a year ago. Yeah, bro. But you know what's so funny about that is, uh, he did this to like, what was it like the he put out there that they did this to counteract bots? Yeah, <laughs> it's just all trolls buying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To go on comment, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's all who I see with blue check marks now is do, like accounts with four followers. Yeah. <laughs> so good dude <clears throat> yeah yours says this account is verified because they are subscribed to twitter blue and verified their phone number so you're subscribed to twitter blue that's cool so you have a phone that's what that's saying yeah it's awesome yeah so but it, does it say whether or not i, I paid i think it, the implication is that you're subscribed Yeah, that's what it's saying, that you are subscribed to Twitter Blue. Dude. I mean, yeah, that's just, I don't know. I feel like I'm, yeah. I didn't pay for it. Yeah, But I feel like by saying that, um, people are going to be like, well, you probably did because you don't have to, you shouldn't have to like say that. It's it's okay, man. You're you're in a safe space. If you're paying for it. You don't have it. No. I'm a real, I'm not a real person. Took it away. Noyle Miller. Noyle. Took it away, man. 
Damn, dude. How is anyone supposed to trust anything you say anymore? I know. Let's let's, let's see the last. What about real TMG Studios? Ah, yeah. There you go. How do you know I really said that? Tourette syndrome, be like. Yeah. What the fuck? How do you know I really said that, man? What else have I said recently? How do you know I I really said Louisville tonight? Were you in Louisville? I was, but how do you know I said that? <laughs> so how can you really trust? It's I an said, impersonator yeah. promoting your show. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, thanks. <laughs> Just a burner. <laughs> He's going to be in Indianapolis on Tuesday. <laughs> All right, let's jump to the bonus. Oh, really? Yeah. Thanks for watching us, guys. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for watch- watching us, guys. Thanks for watching us, guys. Hang out. And, and listening. And listening. Thanks for listening as well. Uh Appreciate it, and we'll see you in the bonus where we're going to touch on phallic plant. Sexual thirst trap plant. Massive earwax removal. removal. Spider-Man saves plant. What's with all this plant stuff? (laughs) Human car wash plant machine? All right. (sighs) What did you say? Plant culture? Horticulture. What is it called? Horticulture. Horny culture (laughs) podcast. (laughs) Horticulture. All right. And uh, bye. What'd you say, Ovi? <laughs> <laughs> this week on the Bone Zone. Oh, everyone's not white. Our kid is going to rip a lobster in half, and we're like, ah, 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 ah. that's the example lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Pause it. Look how fucking thick that red oh guy is. Oh, my God. I want to take one to see. Yeah. Watch the full episode by signing up for a membership at tmgstudios.tv. <laughs>